So now let's use what we know to make a basic calculator. It won't have full functionality, but it will cover what we know so far. So let's go ahead and erase everything before main equals do, or after it really. We're going to hit tab. And then the first thing we want to do is we need to get two numbers from the user, right? So we're going to take two numbers from the user and we're going to add them together. So first off, we need to prompt them with a question to like enter a first number. So we could do put string ln. And we're going to say, remember, we can just add a space. And if we're not concatenating, we don't need these parentheses. We can say enter first number. Then underneath that, we can get the number with get line from the user and store it inside of a variable. So we can say first number. And we use this arrow when we want to get line. Uh, when we want to get input from the user, we use that arrow. And we say get line. Remember, get line is a built-in function and it allows us to get user input from the console and stores it inside of this first number variable. And it's gonna store it as a string. Remember, everything coming in as input is stored as a string. And then we wanna get the second uh, number from the user. So put string ln, enter second number. And we're gonna do something very similar. We can say second number, and we're gonna use that arrow and get line again. So now we get a second number with this get line build in function and we store it inside of our second number variable. And let's just make sure we have that so far. So we can do put string ln because remember these are strings first number put string ln second number and maybe we need to call these strings right because these aren't numbers. Um, so in, tip in VS code if you double click on first number then you hold down alt or you can do control shift L, hopefully, try it again. Control shift L will select everything that has first number there and we're gonna turn them both into first string, str, first string. And then same thing for second number, control shift L to get both and I'm gonna call it second string. So we're gonna print or put the first string and the second string to the console just to make sure that's right so far. So over we go, clear it refresh and run 22 and 11 and it prints out 22 and 11 great back we go to vs code now that we have the first string and second string the numbers as a string we want to convert them to actual numbers right so that we can add them together and to do that um, this is where we're going to create new variables of first number and second number because you want to name the variable uh, something that's descriptive of what you're putting into it. So we're going to use let, um, like we've been doing, let first number. And we're going to say for, let first number equal. And this is where we use the read from the last video, this built-in read function. We're going to pass it the first string. And we want that to become an int, so colon, colon, int. And then second number, similar, let second number equal read second string as an int. All right, and now we're not gonna be able to put string ln these, but we'd be able to print them, right? And now we can do math to them. So we pass first string into this read function, which will read it as an int because we kind of cast it as an int, and it'll store it in this first number uh, variable, okay? Same thing with the second string. It'll pass it in as an int to, or it'll pass it in with this int cast to this read function. It'll store it inside of the second number as an integer or an int. So now we can do math to them, right? So now we could say uh, print, and we're gonna use parentheses here because we're adding two things together. We're doing some math to it. First number plus second number. And when we use these parentheses, it says, hey, do whatever's in here first and then print it out to the console, right? So print first number plus second number. Let's save it, control S. And that should be our basic calculator. Let's go over here, clear it, reload and run. Enter first number 22, second number 11. And together it should print out 33 as the answer, right? Okay, so here we get 33. And if we wanted to say something like your total is 33, we could, of course, use put string, string ln. And this is where we would do 
<clears throat> so maybe we make a new variable first. Let's call it let total equal first number plus second number. So we're adding the first number and the second number. We're storing it in this total as an int still, right? And then we can say put string ln. And we're going to use parentheses here because we're going to use string concatenation. And we're going to say your total. The total is. And then we will concatenate this total to it. Remember, this total is an integer. So we need to sh run it through this show built-in function. So it turns it into a string. So we want to run this through show. And then it's going to turn that to a string and concatenate it to the total is. So let's save it. Clear, reload, and run, 22, 11, the total is 33. So that's our basic calculator. Let's keep going.